amazing to me that a very simple solution solves a very complex problem. I mean, we don't like it when people are mean to us and we wonder all the time, how do we get them to stop being mean? I mean, they might come up to us and say, I hate your guts. <laughs> and if we get upset, shut up. <laughs> we lose, never. We might try to reason with them. You're hurting my feelings. <laughs> That's the point, dummy. <laughs> Stop it. Never. <laughs> I hate you. I don't care. <laughs> this seems to be such a complex problem. We're miserable. They love making us miserable. And we don't know how to get them to stop. So we think, I know. Bullies aren't cool. Kick them out of school. <laughs> But let me tell you something. I've been doing this 23 years. It is impossible to kick someone out of school for hurting your feelings. Everybody say, my feelings. I know this for a fact. You cannot drag that mean person to court and tell the judge, throw her in prison. The judge will say, the judge will say, what's the charge? And you can say, she hurt my feelings. The judge, the judge is not going to punish her. You know what the judge is going to say? Stop giving her power over you. Stop getting upset. The judge, because he's wise, is going to give you the smartest advice possible. Have tough skin. Be resilient. Everybody say resilient. resilient. Be emotionally strong. Everybody say strong. strong. Be mentally tough. Everybody say tough. tough. Because when you're not getting upset, she cannot stay mean to you. She might say, I hate your guts. But you're not going to get upset. You might say, that's nice. <laughs> and then she's going to realize, well, she's going to try to be meaner. So she might say, you smell like body odor. You need a bath. <laughs> you can say, thanks for the information. <laughs> And right before she leaves you alone, I promise, listen, she will be as mean as she can be. She might say, your face is ugly. <laughs> but you can say, you have a face of an angel, sweetheart. <laughs> ah! <laughs> she might say, I hate you. But you could say, I love you. straight in the eyes of your enemy and you say, I love you. They will, yeah, they will leave you alone. It's called love your enemies. Everybody say, don't get upset. Don't get upset. Say, treat him like a friend. Like a friend. Say, don't get, don't get upset. Treat him like a friend. Don't get upset. Don't get upset. Treat, him like don't get treat him like a friend. And don't get upset. Don't get upset. Treat him like a friend. Yeah. Now stop. You know where this works best? I mean, this, this strategy I'm giving you is such high level. It works awesome at school. But do you know where it works like magic? At home with your annoying brother or sister. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You told your brother to stay out of your room, but what does he do? stop messing with your stuff, but what does he do? <laughs> you told your brother to stop being annoying, but he's like, <laughs> and everything in you wants to say, shut up. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If you punch your brother in the face, he will do this. And your mom will come in. Did, 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 did. What'd you do? <laughs> and your brother will try to tell on you, sis. He'll say, she beat me, mother. <laughs> Thank you. And your mom will say, why did you beat your brother? And you might try to defend yourself. You might say, he was being annoyed, mother. Uh -huh. He does the opposite of everything I say. Uh -huh. He's evil. <laughs> but your mom will say, yeah, but you don't beat him when he's annoying you. I don't beat him when he annoys me. You think I'm annoying, mother? 
you'll annoy all of us, you little brat. Get out of the room. Your brother will walk out of your room like this. <laughs> but inside, he's going like this. <laughs> Do you think your brother cares about your room? Do you think he cares about your stuff? Do you think he cares about annoying you? Oh, yeah. And the more upset you get, the more fun he has, the more fun he has, the meaner he is, the meaner he is, the more upset you get. Oh, clap. The more upset you get, the more fun he has, the more fun he has, the meaner he is, the meaner he is, the more upset you get. Now stop. Everybody say, don't get upset. Don't get upset. Now say, treat him like a friend. Treat him like a friend. So next time he tries to come in your room, you can say, welcome to my room. I've been expecting you. <laughs> And he's going to try to mess with your stuff. And you could say, go ahead, play away while I watch you. Yeah, that'll creep him out. And then he'll try to ramp it up and annoy you. But you could say, look at you. You're so cute. Come here. He will run out of your room so fast. Your mom will hear the yelling. She'll come in. G -g 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 what you do? And you can be honest with your mom. I just try to hug and kiss him. <laughs> I'll tell you exactly what will happen. Your mom will take you out for ice cream. Your mom will buy you your favorite Starbucks Frappuccino. I know it. I know it. You know why I know it? Because grown-ups reward resilience. Everybody say resilience. resilience. Grown-ups reward kids who are emotionally strong. Everybody say strong. strong. Grown-ups are inspired by kids who are mentally tough. Everybody say tough. tough. So when we see a kid going through a mean situation and they are totally unfazed, everybody say whatevs. What? Everybody say it's all good. good. Everybody say ain't no thing. Ain't we are so inspired when we see kids be that resilient that we want to reward them because grown-ups reward resilience.